let's get started. I've got a sketch already. In fact, you can take a look at the finish of this painting and see where it is that we're going. I've got this country road, you know, a couple of trees on either side of the country road, maybe a house, you know, tucked back there in the distance, uh, and some mountains in the background just to set some contrast. And so my idea, my thinking in advance about that is to have a good amount of contrast. So I made a decision. I'm going to have the light tree in front and a dark mountain behind. I'm not worried about midtone. I'm worried about a lot of contrast. Now there's one of the issues that the canvas is already going to make a big difference. The canvas is bolder. And the reason is the paint, when you put it on, it doesn't soak into the paper. <laughs> okay, you want to see me paint, so I'll do it for you. But I wanted to set in advance where my center of interest is. It's right there below the tree and over by the fence. I have that country road. I'm not going to use the house for the focal point. I'm going to have the light trees in front, that big dark mountain in the back. I've chosen the fall color, so I'm going to stay with a warm color sequence throughout the painting. Might add that extra you know, mountain way in the distance, and I'm going to paint the sky last. If you're not familiar with that, stick with me because I'm going to share with you some good painting, good art techniques along with the excitement of the way it works on canvas. Okay, I'm going to take my sponge, soften it a little bit, and I'm going to start out with some strong yellows and a little bit of, a, uh, of an orange. So I've got that color going and I'm going to just drop it in. So I'm going to leave some of the uh, white of the canvas showing through in a couple areas. I'm not going to cover this entire tree up with paint. And I'm going to use my sponge. I'm going to go back and forth to the palette, grab a couple of color changes, maybe add a little red here or there. See there, I'm picking up a little more of a red color changing. So there's a little bit of variety of color. And I'm thinking about this area here is going to be my focal point. So what I'm going to do ahead of time is I'm going to drop in with this mask pen and lip cover up and save. These are going to be some falling leaves. So this will save the canvas later on from having any color um, added to it. So that dries, and I'm going to stay away from it for a minute. That dries, and then the paint won't go into and on that particular area. So back and forth from the palette to the painting, changing colors slightly, a little bit of color variety. You know, my thinking is, of course, I want to have that be entertaining to the viewer. I want them to enjoy each little section so it's not the same yellow tree everywhere. A little variety of color. Even now, here comes one of my spray bottles. So this has paint in it already. And I'll test it out there on the side. And I'm just tapping. So that's the same paint that I have in my palette, only I've squeezed out a little bit of that paint into the bottle, added some water, tested out the color. If I like the way the color is, if I don't, I add a little more water or a little more paint. Then, as always, I have a lot of fun with my uh, other spray bottle. This is just water now. So I'm just adding a few dots. And notice when I use this, you can see it real well there. I just add a couple of taps. So just a couple little spots. And that is expanding. That's opening up those spots of paint that were either put down with the sponge or either put down. Here, I'll play with the brush and just have some fun you know, with a little bit of brush strokes and color here and there. So I'm getting the painting started. Now let's have a little tree trunk. So I'll take my flat brush. And again, I've got a, a natural hair flat brush. And the ones that I have have a long handle. And the ones that I have have a little extra length in the hair. I like that particular idea because it holds more paint. And the fact that it's longer, it's going to hold more. And it's kind of floppy and loose because all of my paintings start out with a loose look. I don't want to get too tight too soon. If I want it to get tight, I spend more time on it so I can have a variety of look to my paintings. All right, back to the palette, and I'm going to pick up some nice warm color, a little burnt sienna, maybe a cobalt blue, just a little variety of color. Now I'm going to show you with this way I hold this brush. It's going to be kind of interesting. My hand is on top, and I'm going to do just a little bit of dry brush scraping. So you can do dry brush on the canvas just like you used to be able to. So if you like dry brush, you're going to like the canvas. If you like working wet into wet, you're going to like the canvas. Now, I don't work wet into wet that much, but I work with other artists that do, and they have told me, and I have seen, that the idea of the wet into wet, wet works better on the canvas because it doesn't soak in. So I've done a few brush strokes, a little bit of dry brush looks, so I've got the, the look. Now, I'm not worrying about the branches up on top left, but here, take a look at this. Here, I made a mistake. I dropped some color on there. I don't have to worry about that at all because there it is, completely gone. Here's another spot of paint. Now, it's still wet, and I'm going to show you later how I can take that paint and remove it even when it dries. 